Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. All right, Judge Marchand listened to um, evidence today regarding Donald Trump's <coughs> his uh, election interference case, and he had some harsh words for Donald Trump's counsel, his lead counsel. Basically, why are you bringing up this issue now of these documents? Uh, why in the you know a month ago did you bring it up, or a couple months ago when? You know, you, you should have been asking for these documents. You knew you had the ability to ask from just like uh, like the prosecution, the DA did. Why didn't you do it then? And um, Trump's lead counsel was trying to worm his way out of it, uh, saying, well, you know, I thought the people had to. It's like, well, no, they don't. You can do it too. You know, um, uh, the story I was reading was that Trump was was uh, looking at the judge, sizing up the judge, then sizing up his lead counsel because he likes his lead counsels to be like bulldogs and be able to take the heat from a judge. And this guy maybe wasn't quite measuring up. So uh, I want to read, uh, generally speaking, um, on Judge Marchand's courtroom today. He did issue a uh, three-week uh, ruling that the, the trial will start in three weeks. So on my previous reading where I said, I thought it was going to be three weeks plus or minus a week, leaning heavily towards two weeks. It's going to be three weeks. So this is in the ballpark, circling the neighborhood. <sighs> Judge Marchand. And the other thing that I had seen in the previous reading is that <laughs> when this thing came out first and Trump wanted a 90-day delay and Alpha Bragg wanted a 30-day uh, delay, and the news article I said Marchand wanted a 20-day delay, but you know he put it off a week to... Um, to get uh, to get the information, and now that he's uh, made his ruling, it's 21 days. And at that time, I said, you know, he's acting like a boss. It's like I pre 90 days, 30 days, huh, 20 no 20 days. Let's go. So Judge Marchand, energy around him with this uh, Trump election interference case, entertainment purposes only. Well, first thing that comes to mind is legacy and money. I guess you know, Donald Trump got his financial break here. This is not this reading. That's the other reading that I'm annoyed with. Um, DNA, pedigree, money. What's the money got to do with this? What's... Oh, well, it's a, it's, it's a hush money case, David. Sorry, I'm just out of sorts right now. It's a hush money case. <clears throat> so we're going to find out about the money. And everything that's going on with this. It just kind of tells me Judge Marchand's not going to get caught up in the drama. He's focusing on the facts. And we're going to get judgment on it. Okay, so part of the thing with this uh, hush money case involving uh, lurid details with Stormy Daniels is that for the most part, you know, we're going to get Michael Cohen testifying and Stormy Daniels testifying. There's going to be a lot of drama. But in the end of the day... It's a financial fraud case. <laughs> and we know Trump's already been found guilty of financial fraud. So he's already got the, um, the the deck is stacked against him, as it were. And it's a paper case because they can make the connections between um, the events involving Stormy Daniels and the payments going out and the repayments to Michael Cohen. You've got the testimony of Michael Cohen. You've got the testimony of Stormy Daniels. You'll have the timeline of what was going on at the time. You know, it's it's going to be pretty straightforward as far as this goes. Um, underneath the the uh, the deck is the fool card, and I think it's just it's going to show kind of foolish choices and immature behavior. You know, Donald Trump acts like a child. He doesn't care if he walks off the cliff. You know, it just, it doesn't impact him for whatever reason. But people may look at him differently. In the past, we got the temperance card. Um, this case has been a long time coming. It's been, you know, it's funny. When it was first announced, we were celebrating because he got 31, 32 felony indictments. And then compared to... The January 6th case, the Georgia Rico case, the Mar-a-Lago documents case. This one wasn't that interesting. But all those other ones have been delayed to hell and back. 
And this one's actually going to progress forward. So we're actually going to see this case happen this year. <clears throat> it's just been patient. Current situation is the Six of Swords. Um, what's going on with Jason? Judge Bershon, um, no, he's, Trump got his delay. Trump's going to try for more. He and his, his attorneys are going to try for more delays just because that's what they do. But to me, it's also, Mershon has a way, Judge Mershon has a way of calming things down. He's not afraid of making some ways to calm some people down. And this case got, you know, it got moved down the road but it's not moved down the road very much. It's it's coming. I don't know if there'll be, an, it, like I'm looking at that six, I'm just trying to ignore, just looking at, you know, he, there was, there are some waves coming up here. Things have been resolved. This case is progressing. Yeah, uh, the judge himself is a, is a strong-willed individual. He shows strength and mastery over his court. He doesn't let ripples come in and, and tip his boat. Does it, he deals with it, moves on. <clears throat> but his, <laughs> the drama is just beginning. The drama is just going to begin because it's Trump. Um, Trump, I think, is also stressed out. Trump is uh, whining and complaining that who holds a criminal court case in the middle of election season? Well, fortunately for you, it's primary season and you've, sort of, you know, um, held, you know, you've, you've won your primary because every, all your competition has dropped out. So don't stress out too much buttercup, you know, you'll still be, you'll still have plenty of time to, uh, to, uh, hold, hold your rallies and, and, you know, defame Biden and everybody in your path. Outcome is the nine of, nine of wands. Um, it's, this isn't Judge uh, Mershon, this is more Trump, you know, I, and I got this on my other reading, you know, he's, he's, there's more stuff coming, you know, it's just like, okay, we got through, we got through this thing and I've got trial in three weeks, but he still has to come up with money for, um, for the New York civil trial. And, you know, he's got a lot of, this guy's got a lot of balls up in the air right now. And he's, it's almost like he's got this feeling something's about to happen. And you get the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. There's, you know, there might be just that inkling, uh, that feeling of impending doom that, you know, he's having a hard time keeping up on top of everything. Um, and how do you delay this? I mean, he's got to try and figure out, and maybe that's the Nine of Wands also, is like, oh, you know, for him, it's like, oh my God, Nine Swords, this thing starts in three weeks. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? How do I, how do I push this thing down? How do I push this thing away? How do I delay this further? How will Donald Trump try to delay this further? Yeah, it's worth asking. Will he try and delay? Of course he's going to try, but what's he going to do? How's he going to try and delay this? We can figure out if it's successful or not later, but how will Donald try to, now here's some real prediction stuff here, you know, because now I'm really getting to a mindset. I don't know how you do this. I don't, I don't think like he does. I don't even pretend to think like he does. Yeah, a whole bunch of cards falling out. Well, We'll let those cards falling out be the ones that want to come in here. How is Trump going to try and get away with this or delay this? Yeah, there he is, you know, trying to get away with it, trying to steal it, trying to get more time off, sneaking off. You know, it basically, he's managed to get a three-week delay, but he's trying to get a three-month delay. What's he going to do to try and get like a three-month delay? on this <clears throat> got a plan in place you know it's just his normal plan delay 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 see what you can get away with um 
What's he holding on to? He's got some information. Um, he's got some information here. Or maybe there's some information that comes in this uh, tranche of uh, records that he thinks he can get a further delay from this. But, or he's asking people, you know, the Federalist Society, how do I do this? What's next? But there's kind of like a progression and a plan in place to try and get away with more. <sighs> Two of Swords. It's almost like he's going to ask the judge to recuse himself. He's going to appeal or something like that, say the judge is biased, that he can't get a fair trial. I, I, I don't know how that works because that should have happened a long time ago. Uh, I think he's talked about appealing to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, like, is his only bet right now. And the reason why it comes to the Supreme Court is that uh, no lady justice is supposed to be blind. And you're at a crossroads here. And the Supreme Court is, like, his last best shot at this. And this trial starts um, on April 15th. And the Supreme Court's supposed to hear their oral arguments uh, like on April 24th or something like that. 22nd? Something like that. It could be Monday. It could be Wednesday. So he might be thinking about Supreme Court type stuff. <sighs> Lessons be learned of the lovers. It's not what you know. It's who you know. <clears throat> and I put three of you on this Supreme Court. You need to bail me out. You know, the opposite of the double card, the lover's card. Of course, this could just be Stormy Daniels, too. <laughs> you know, the, the this whole thing could just be that, you know, he tried to get away with it, but in three weeks he's got his court case. It's going to progress. Questions are going to be asked and answered by the woman. Um... It's going gonna, it's gonna to affect his campaign, his relationship with Melania. And there's going to be money in there. Now I'm asking, and there's, this, and there's the porn star card underneath it. Um, <clears throat> he's going he's gonna to try and figure out some delay. Um, you know, he's already tried the relationship tactic with... Um, with uh, uh, Fonny Willis. And I'm wondering if he's going to try and say there was some illegal coordination between Letitia James and Alvin Bragg, because there was coordination between the two of them. You know, worked once, maybe it'll work again, but it, I think he's this is like a point of diminishing returns. So he might try and delay this by saying there's some inappropriate interactions between um, uh, uh, Letitia James and... Judge Engeron or, or um, excuse me, uh, Letitia James and Alvin Bragg or something along those lines. Uh, I could also see him wanting to go to the Supreme Court to um, see if he can get a delay until they rule on his absolute immunity, which is going to be a problem because he wasn't president at the time that this happened. So it really isn't absolute immunity. So while I'm asking that question, this card comes out underneath. If I was reading this just as the court case, this is Trump trying to get away with, you know, having an affair, not having the affair information come out in the payout. He had a plan in place. <clears throat> but in three weeks, we're going to be hearing about this. You know, this case is going to progress. They're going to bring Stormy Daniels and other witnesses on there. We're going to find out the truth of what happened. And it'll be up for us to decide, you know, what's real and what's fake. Um, this is going to impact Donald's relationships. It already impacted his relationship with Michael Cohen. It's about a relationship with a porn star. And it's going to be, it's going to impact his relationship with Melania. And uh, he's going to be, he's going to be diminished by this trial. His value is going to be diminished, not the least of which, because by the time this trial has come around, he's, allegedly going to be $175 million poorer. And if he doesn't post that bond, you know, he could be even more poor than that. I do think he's going to post it, 
But it'd be funny if he didn't have the money to post it. <sighs> then what's Melania going to do? Um... I, that's not the question I asked. After he's going to delay it, and I think I got the court reading. I, I guess in this case, that would mean that no, he's not going to get a delay. Because if it takes me to the, the, the general summary of the court case, then I would guess that he's not going to get any delays that he's looking for. That in three weeks' time, it's going to be a go. Um, with the energy right now, will Donald Trump be found guilty? of uh, this hush money uh, case. <clears throat> yep, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty strong one. Yeah, all charges, guilty on all charges. There's it really, even, even the Trumpers on that jury will be like, yeah, you know, I really didn't want to convict him, but dude, he totally did it. Uh, you got a, a strong case that's there. Winner takes all. Yeah, all again. Guilty. All charges here. Trump's not gonna like. He's not gonna like this. There's no compromise here. And yeah, the courts. Yeah, the he's exposed for who he is. He's gonna be. I I truly believe he's gonna be found guilty on all charges. Of course, I also truly believe that he would be held to account for a 500. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm grumpy about this. I am really grumpy about this. It's not fair. He's going to be held to account. Uh, you know the, the the case given. He didn't have a, ch a standing. He didn't have a chance fighting off these charges. Just no chance whatsoever. Guilty on all charges. Um, the uh, the jury doesn't make the sentence. Donald Trump makes the sentence here. But this is. I think this is Trump just not accepting. You know. There, no, charge one, guilty. Charge two, guilty. Charge three, guilty. Here comes charge four. Guess what it's going to be? Guilty. Guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty. And then the government gets to deal with him. That four of cups could also be the government. It's like, great, what do we do now? We got this guy who's running for the presidency who's just been found guilty on 32 counts. And now Trump's uh, goal will be to see how much he can delay um, sentencing. How far how far out can he push sentencing? And can he get a delay on it because he's running for the president of the United States? <sighs> Why did I sign up for this lifetime? It was stupid. Anyways, that's the reading. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, everything you do to help build this channel up so that it makes it out to a wider audience. To folks just discovering this channel recently or for the first time, welcome. I hope you found this reading insightful. And me, I'm usually not as grumpy as this. I'll get over it. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.